What is up, Cowboys Nation? Your boy Mike Tag here. Good morning. You know, dropping another early morning video. Checking in. I'm the pulse of Cowboys Nation. I know it ain't feeling too good. We ain't we ain't too confident going into Sunday against these rival Eagles. So, but maybe is is some help on the way. Micah Parsons seems optimistic that he's going to get back on the field Sunday. Will that be enough? You know, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, to me, the issues are on offense. Looks like Brandon Cooks, he's not going to be he's not going to be ready. The puzzling one to me really is Deron Bland. It looks like he's probably not going to be going. And I mean, we're getting into the, what, 10, 12 weeks uh, with this injury. And I'm just I, I just don't know why uh, there's obviously got to be something going on to make it take this long to get back on the field. But Maybe with Parsons, he gives the team a little spark. I know a lot of us, you know, in Cowboys Nation, we are just looking to, to, to tank to get the draft pick. I get it. It's hard for me to, to concede anything, especially when you're playing the Eagles, man. It'd be nothing better than everyone. Nobody thinks we're going to win. The Eagle fans are just salivating to pounce on, the, on this injured, depleted Cowboys team. And the Cowboys pull off a miracle. That would almost be uh, that would almost be redemption for the season at this point. But you know, we'll see what happens. You know, you also saw the news with Dak Prescott. There's been a lot of question: how injured was he? Could he have gone back in? You know, I think anyone, and it's not knocking Dak, but anyone was just kind of like, man, it's a hamstring quarterback. That's kind of odd. His pocket passer is not a running quarterback, but ended up tearing you know, some of the hamstring from the bone, which sounds pretty damn painful to me. So, you know, he's going to be out a while, which I did an earlier video, and you're starting to see some of this trending uh, with the Dallas Cowboys and in social media is like Trey Lance. Are there going to be some packages for Trey Lance? Could he see some time? I think his legs would help. Obviously, his accuracy, he struggled in preseason, just inconsistent, had good moments and bad. Cooper Rush is going to be that steady Eddie that's just going to kind of get things going. But the problem is, we don't have we don't have the offense right now that he can just you know do what he does, play with him, be a game manager, and make things happen. Our running game obviously it showed some light life uh, you know against Atlanta. Philadelphia's got you know pretty stout defensive line. I don't know if we're going to have the success in the running game. I think the opportunity. If there's anything for the Cowboys is to attack their secondary. They've struggled a little bit uh, in the secondary. So, you know, with Trey Lance, buy some time, use them legs, make things happen. In my opinion, at this point in the, you know, in the season, I would rather go with a quarterback that has the most upside. So, to me, I still believe even if you're not going to start Trey Lance, I would, I, would get some, I would get some packages in there to utilize some of his skill set to try and see if he can give any kind of spark to this team. So, but hey man, if you guys are, are new to the channel, I know we got some new subscribers. Just want to give, give a quick thank you to all of the new all the new subscribers. Everyone who's been loyal to the Cowboys cave through good times and bad. We're going to be live tonight. Usually it was on Wednesday, but if you guys follow me, you know my daughter had her last home or her last football uh, cheer game as senior high school and um, so that was tough man you see your kids grow up fast see them grow up real fast and she's she's our youngest my son is is 20 she's uh she just turned 18 so gonna be going off to college so it's like man what am I gonna do gotta keep working hard to pay the bills but also have some fun with Cowboys Nation that's why you see me drop these videos every now and then gotta find gotta find something to kill the time and there's nothing better to me Killing time outside the family and friends is is talking some Cowboys football. Even through, even through these tough times, we're gonna we're gonna get through it. I just hope whatever happens this season, it's an it, it it's kind of an awakening to Jerry Jones to understand that this is unacceptable. I mean, the drought that this team has been in, you know, the culture that that you're seeing, the the media, you know, hype is always gonna be there because you got the star in the helmet. I mean, we're an irrelevant team at this point, and we're still the top story at ESPN. We're still the top story with, with Fox Sports. I mean, it's, there's still something to talk about. And, I mean, you can even take it no further than the Washington Commanders. You know, they win a game. They win a game last week, and all they're saying is, we want Dallas. And it's like, 
Dallas ain't your problem right now. It might be Pittsburgh, who you're playing this weekend, or maybe even Philadelphia, who's right on your tails in, in the division. The Cowboys are, you know, we're far away. So, anyway, just want to drop a quick video. You guys have a good morning. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. We're going to be live tonight. Love taking calls. We also do a Sunday morning call. And also, if you're new, ton of uh, interviews with a lot of champions. A lot of champions that have been in this cave. We've interviewed former Cowboy greats like a Bob Lilly, Moose Johnston, James Washington, my man Kevin Gogan. If you guys hadn't seen that interview, check it out. Eugene, the hit machine, Lockhart. He's always popping in and out on the channel. He brings the energy. He brings the hype. He may be showing up tonight. So check it out. But Cowboys Nation, it's just, you know, we're going to get through this. But better believe the hype train isn't going to stop. It might change a little bit. We're going to drop that hype video Friday. It might have to change up a little bit, but we're going to get going, man. We're in this thing together. If it's, like I said, man, if we're on the Titanic, you know, just I'm going down with the ship. Some people are going to jump. I can't jump, man. As you can tell, I'm in too deep with these boys, good or bad. It's the, uh, it's the life I live. So appreciate all the support. Hopefully we get a little healthy. Hopefully, it's a little bit of respectability, even if we don't win, right? I know you guys don't want to tank. You at least don't want to see us get embarrassed every week. I mean, we at least want to see this team showing some fight, showing some heart. So, because you're going to have to build on the next year. And this is, you know, this could just be one of those years where anything that could go wrong goes wrong. And it's kind of done that. But again, if this is an awakening to Jerry to finally kind of, and it, it took, you know, it took this last time. It took those 5 and 11 years he went out and got Bill Parcells, gave up some of his control. Maybe he, you know, maybe this is going to be the time for him to do it again. So we'll we'll see what happens. I'll be seeing you guys tonight live, man. Make sure you come out in the cave. It's going to be at a special time, 7 p.m. Dallas time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. You guys come in the cave, check it out. We'll see you. Peace.